Hi, my name is Andy Mutch, I'm from Econ UK, and I'm here today to talk to you about the actual process icons of what you can see in front of you, which is your control panel. So let's probably there, what is a virtual process icon? Quite simply put, it's to be able to visually see something that be a CAD system or a CAE before you make the physical commitment to actually build. You can see in here you can then check that can you control problems, issues before you run you go out and buy all the items to actually find that you've made an error. So let's go in and see how we can help you stop those errors from occurring by obviously making what we sometimes call the digital twist. So from our last sections or, or, or our last sessions we talked about functional design and being able to bring things in functional in your schematic. So okay, here we'll start with a little lighting system. So very simply I'm going to bring in a macro. I press on to open, here is the macro in place. <coughs> I drop it down and here we have some items that we can then place into our 3D panel. So obviously at this moment I'm taking the role of the electrical engineer and deciding what items need to go into the cabinet via the actual schematic design. A couple of circuit breakers here, one for the light obviously, and then here one for a uh, maybe a plug so somebody can power the laptop or programming inside the panel as well. But we can then see that this data here needs to be transferred through to the panel design. So now we can then take on the role of the panel builder. Let's use the panel builder's organization skills of getting the items in the right place, use their knowledge, use their expertise of how something's not physically locked in the real world. But the first thing I'm, doing, I'm actually going to do is show you on this particular circuit breaker here. If I go to the part number, I can see the part is actually there. If I then move over to the right hand side, I can then see our things like macros. Macro is going to be able to choose um, physically what it's actually going to look like inside the 3D world. So they give you the model, give you any connection point pattern, which we can see here, and you how the wires physically get onto that 3D model, and obviously that's going to give us some routing uh, sort of data later as well. And this means that we can then start to show and then and then make our panel in the most the most uh, complete way inside the virtual prototype before we go into production. Okay, so we see this one here. The nice that the very first thing is we don't need to change programs. This is called Pro Panel. Uh, so obviously it helps you to let you do schematic design and then it lets you seamlessly pass data onto the panel builder. You can actually do this at the same time. Maybe you've got three or four panels in, in the system. I certainly have in here, obviously enclosure one, enclosure two, enclosure three. Maybe your design is finished on enclosure one. Pass on the license onto the panel builder. He can start putting data in from all of this panel while you're still making the rest of the sections as well. So if I highlight the section that I want, I right click and I can synchronize, I can then see the items inside this navigator that I need to place in just this one little drawing here. Move over to my panel, which we saw earlier. And in here, this panel can be split down into certain areas. You can see I've got a mounting panel front, which is already open. And I can see some items that are already in there, but I need to add to the lightning itself. So first of all, let's get the circuit breakers in place. Then click zoom and you see it's quite easy to maneuver around in here. Simply click and drag. The items then can be matched up. I click it in place. Epan knows it wants to go on the rail. You can see there's a small gap on there, but Epan, don't worry, it's going to close that gap up and very, very quickly you can see it's going to save you that little bit of space for when you use it on there. You can see in here, I'll see you're showing the actual item name on this one. Again, just pick copy and paste on the format, just let you visualize it in the same way. The nice thing about it is that obviously because it is the same program, these are connected. So I press on the jump key, yes, yeah, I can jump directly from the panel back onto the schematic and I can see how things are going to be wired up. I can see how it can be read from the, from the schematic itself. You can see down here that the, the two tabs enable me to jump back and forward very, very quickly. Okay, so there's our, there's our two circuit breakers in one area. From there I can then click onto my uh, plug set. So again, this is going to allow people to be able to plug in their sort of laptops, be able to use them on there as well, while they're actually programming. Obviously, that's a your opinion one, but again, the model can be used for any other type. Okay, so we can then see here, uh, on here we've got the back plate, but not everything goes on, onto a back plate. So obviously, we need to be much more flexible than just doing back plates. We head down to a little bit further down, I can see I've got a frame set on here, I've got a, 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 a a frame set on here, which has got the uh, vertical of the inside. I can then just come it down slightly, so again, an easy 3D world to work in. And now I need to place my light. Again, simply just click and drag it across. Ah, something's gone red. Why have you gone red? Well, I've got clicking control on. So clicking control is going to stop me from putting an item in the wrong place. Now, panel builders do 
of experience and knowledge. Yeah, they're, they're experts at getting the panel to fit, but this little bit of help is going to make sure that this light doesn't click, it doesn't hit against the door, doesn't hit against the roof, it is going to fit onto an item in the right manner. Pressing the press onto the rotate section on here, and you see just a simple move, then obviously stops me from putting it in the wrong place. I click it down, and now e plan I sort it all out for me, you can see. I've got my green ticks, I know that schematically, everything is in place, I know the panel, everything is now in place, and my lighting system has now been placed down. Okay, so, very, very simply, I take from one section of the schematics, simply synchronize into the 3D mounting layout, then I'm able to push things across from there very quickly. This is what the database is for inside e plan. You have the parts database in the right manner, you get the schematic design very quickly, you get the 3D data, seamless connection between the two areas, allowing you to get your virtual prospect built in the 3D world a lot quicker.